Okay, next day, late morning. And yesterday, as I walked from my tropical apartment with my lodgers, <laughs> leaving them in peace, as I can walk along this Buffalo Beach. What a sound every day, every day, wicked sound. <laughs> There's stuff, with crickets jumping about, <laughs> bugs and, and all sorts flying about. But I haven't seen the birds. Big, big billed birds that haven't been around. But look, this is where we are. All the bungalows. Beach. The tide hasn't gone out as far as I would like it to, but the day is getting on, and I need to get on. Wrapping the end of this show up <laughs> with regards to what I want to do. I, I, uh, there's a wicked bar which I'll do a whole feature on. I've got my drone with me, so I want to fly the drone about there. I want to do a few things now. What a beautiful day! The day is, and it is, because yesterday afternoon, when I kind of wrapped yesterday's bit up, done nothing but piss down the rain, thunderstorms, lightning, massive thunder, I mean proper rolling thunder, it just thundered and thundered and thundered and thundered. And it was, but mind you, it didn't disturb me, I actually had a really good sleep. Woke up quite early this morning. I've been and done my droning, been up to the harbour, and now I'm walking along this wonderful beach. I forget the actual name of it. Buffalo Beach, it's well known for. And I would honestly say, out of all the beaches I've looked at, places to stay, I think I've made a really good choice and a really cool place to, to, to be. Um, one thing on the island is I'm really disappointed because there's hardly any places open, loads of, there's hardly anything open anywhere. I found one decent lady who can cook <laughs> on the, right near the main crossroads. There's a, there's a couple of little restaurants there, but today being Sunday, some of them are not are not open. <laughs> How can you have a day off when you work in a tourist resort? You, you don't. You don't ever have a day off until the tourists have gone. Then, then you can have a day off. But I'm supposed to check out tomorrow. Not happening. I <laughs> know, but I was moaning that I had to stay an extra day. Now I'm staying an extra, another extra day. So I'll check out on the stick. And I still didn't, three days now, haven't checked the internet whatsoever, haven't even looked at it. Haven't even, <laughs> time my day goes on. I've had a few rifters and a few tins of lay iron doing nothing except just lounging. And, and that's all I've been doing. And that's all I'm gonna be doing for today. That's why I wanna get this, rock, this, this, this vlog wrapped up, the beach, this beach, because it is wicked. It's just a little bathroom there, look, just a little toilet. Little toilet bathroom. <laughs> you know, just that that is wicked having that there. You just nip to the toilet after coming out at the sea, having this this part of the beach all to yourself. It's just a wicked beach walk. So do enjoy the beach walk with me. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna be doing to wrap this up. Oh. And it is just so wicked. And with the amount of rain we had last night, I, I'm really pleased how clear the sea and everything is. And uh, hopefully that, uh, that big thunderstorm, is, it was proper tropical. And I'd, I'd smoked too much and drunk too much. I couldn't even be asked to film it, you know. I really couldn't, so I didn't. Just laid in the hammock, chilling, until it got really tropical. Really windy, and then I had to stand in the doorway <laughs> just in case the building 
the building blew down but it seems to really have cleared the air the air looks really clean clear fresh and it's just just what i needed so i can get on with my day good day good day it's a wicked little beach walk right there's more coming oh mate it's a few a few tourists on the beach look but you can see how high the waves come in this is usually dead still this sea and you, you can see what it's done the last couple of days the sea waves coming in oh, what a wicked place to be and again wicked place to stay all along this buffalo beach oh man of course those apartments are open but look it's got all these just places for you to lounge and sit and enjoy enjoy that view and hopefully hopefully tonight we'll have no rain we'll stay as it is and i'll get to do the sunset <laughs> believe me there was no sunset last night at all dark clouds everywhere right hang in there right, just a bit further along the beach <clears throat> And we come to Banana Resort. <laughs> Someone's living proper up there. Usually when I walk past, that table is full of all different beverages. And I was hoping this little bar was open. But, unfortunately, it is not. Oh, man. Would have been a cool bar. I like the lampshades. The old ice buckets turned into lampshades. They're cool. They are cool, man. Wicked. That's superb. They've done a lot better if we'd have sold them. They're, they're proper old vintage. Well, I'd say, I don't know about the vintage vintage, but old enough. Oh, man, they'd be really cool. I know a bar or somewhere that would really, really want them. <laughs> exactly how they are. But, wow, look. This is... Oh, proper. Proper, proper. I don't know if you can see the what's in front of me. <laughs> it's probably what is the coolest bar, restaurant on any beach anywhere in the world. What I'm looking at, and I told you, <laughs> if I if I was doing um. What was it? If I was an undercover or, 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 or a full-on detective, I would have been doing a detective show on the island to see if there's been any drugs used. Now, from my previous video, you'll probably see there's been quite a lot of drugs used, taken or whatever, probably the majority of them. But not until you see this bar, what I'm looking at. And I'm actually, it's called the Hippie Hay, but it's not hippies in there, they're rasters. So, when you see it, you tell me how much marijuana you think they smoke. <laughs> wow, place upon me just here. See, the sun, if you're on this beach, okay, you don't really get the early, early sun. Because the sun rises over there, it has to get really high in the sky. Around about 10.30 is when this beach starts coming alive and the tide starts going out. So it's a sort of a lazy late day beach, which is cool because I go for my morning walk and the sun's not up, so it's really cool. It's the coolest part of the day <laughs> as temperature wise goes. But, you know, as the day goes on, whew, this is a bit cool bar as well. Okay, there's people in there, awesome. That probably means I can get something to eat on the way back. We'll check it out on the return. Okay. So happy I put the right boots on. Them boots. What do you call them boots? They go anywhere. Go anywhere boots. As the tide isn't out yet. So we've got a, an estuary to cross. Hey, I'm so glad I left the trip trops at home and put the right boots on. So I mean, I just walk in the water and then out again. And it's all good. I'm going to fall over. 
which will make a change. Now again, there's another resort. Look, it's proper beach, proper hippie, hippie, hippie beach. These, I guess, are open. Oh man. Like I say, the tide still needs to go out. It's quite a lot, really, before I can walk along that beach fully. Oh, hang on. It's a little podium. Cool places. I think they're probably all closed up, but oh, and a cool podium on the front here. As we are now upon, <laughs> well, you tell me, right? You tell me if the bar I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna turn the camera around as we are upon what I would say it's probably the coolest bar I've ever seen on a beach or anywhere really. Let's have a little look. It's called the Hippie Hay. So, I'm gonna walk past it, if I can. <laughs> if I can get past it. <sighs> and then I'll come back, I'll do a proper vlog on it. Oh man, I don't know if I'm gonna get past. The water just may be too deep. And this place is fully operational. It is. <laughs> There's no one on there today, which is good because that's where I'll probably be sitting when I now come back. <laughs> the hippie, hey! <laughs> now that, <laughs> ship! That's <laughs> ship! I can't believe I'm dredging in water. And as we go past. <laughs> <laughs> what a cool bar! And I say, get past. I'm up to my. I'm up to where you short and curlies. <laughs> That's where I am in the water. How deep it is! Oh, man. What a cool spot! It's a cool spot. They open at half past ten, so I'm hoping. <laughs> I always hoping the monkeys live right at the end but they were when I walked along here the other morning and I'll tell you the tide was out there as it seems to be in now oh, another real cool place what was maybe another sort of party space not too run down could probably Regenerate itself at some point. Oh, man. Cool bungalows. I really like this beach. I really do. Way I like, like everything about it. I think it's so cool. <laughs> Hammock here, look. Right, that's why I'm bothering to just walk along the beach easily. Oh my look, Jesus. It is Jesus. I'm sure it is. No, that ain't Buddha, is it? Who is that? That's someone else. That's some other geezer. It looks like. It looks like. Oh, mate, with the two pythons or cobras. That looks like Alexander the Great. In there. What's he doing here? Uh, okay. What a wicked beach walk. I hope that Rasta bar, sorry, the, the EPA, I hope it's open because I've got my drone. That's what this is. I'll have a little photo shoot and a little drone around there while I'm sitting in the, in the, in the front of the ship. And then I want some, I want some. <laughs> ah, Leo, tins of Leo time. It's coming up to that time. And also something else, because I quite ain't got quite enough to get through the day. And that time, like I say, it's coming up to about half ten, quarter to eleven. Time I past eleven, isn't it. That's it. My day is done. I am doing nothing else except just lazing about in that hammock. And uh, I did get a little bit stressed yesterday. I'll tell you about that later. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh, it's just wicked though. Wicked walking along this beach. And I really do hope this weather holds. I really do. Okay, well, this is netted off. Maybe 
maybe this is a marina of some sort. Wow. That's where I've just walked along. And I live or staying in them trees and <laughs> that jungle over there. But well, I will, my mission is on the very first night I may have got a bit of footage of the birds. <clears throat> I'll have to check it out. God, I was really stoned. <laughs> I can't remember if I did or I didn't. I really don't know. I don't know if I had this cam or the big cam. So I'll let her check it out. But that is what I want. To get a happy ending today, I want to get the big old beaked birds on film. I really do, because I think that is what the island is famous for, the birds. Those type of birds which look, looks like a type of a hornbill. That's not one. Okay, this looks intrepid. We're in. Oh, mate, we are in the rabbits. Whoa. Oh, that's it. There's a sign on there, Arawak, what the real name of this beach is. It's just really cool. So if you're getting bored, I don't know where you are, because this is, like I say, it's a wicked beach. It may, vlog may be running on, <laughs> but I'm not going to break into song. <laughs> I'm not. So, oh man. It's just superb. Place to walk in the morning. Oh no, that's not the name. That's a, that's an advertising sign for these bungalows that are probably closed due to the situation. And I can't see any monkeys. These apartments, they look long closed. Wait. Derelict and abandoned. Oh man. Still a cool spot though. Real cool spot. Driftwood everywhere. Wee hey, lizards running about. <laughs> it's awesome. It is awesome. It's like a pirate's pirate's lair. <laughs> Come a dog. Do you look friendly? Oh, he's all right. He's fairly quiet. Which is the main thing. Well, I am going to get to the end here, see if God, I can see the monkeys. <laughs> I don't want to get too close. Wicked boat in that yard there. Wait, wait, wait. Net one, pearl one, we're going through. Stepping with caution. <laughs> Don't want. Okay. Okay, disappointed there's no monkeys. This is where they were the other day. Jumping about on these rocks. All down here. Maybe it's too hot for them. Oh man. And maybe it's because the tide is in and it's not out like it was the other day. Whoa. Someone's house. Wicked spot.
That's fairly new. Looks like it's just been built. Whoa, man! Big bar fly! Yo! It's just in the rafters there. I wonder if there's enough light to get in. Big butterfly man. Look at him. Well camoed. He's away. Where is he? Look at him. He blends with the wood. Stay still. <laughs> oh. Man with the right light. No eyes on him. As on his markings. As you would expect some. And the vibes. Wicked butterfly. <laughs> Got him. Look at this place. Just walking out. So imagine if you lived there. You're just walking out to your nice. <laughs> bit of surf down there look oh, it's everywhere in paradise unfortunately I don't know if it's going to be the future or what but what a wicked frontage to actually live in perhaps up there and the view is something else really you just want to get your sewage sorted <laughs> Got to walk in there, and there aren't any monkeys. Disappointing. Disappointing. Okay. Well, that more or less wraps this vlog up then. <laughs> oh, what can I say? This is a wicked spot. I knew it was abandoned, I could have ridden a scooter out, I would have camped up there <laughs> and probably lived there for a few days. Right, so that is Bungalow Beach Tour and I hope you guys, well I hope you're having a good day. I'm having an awesome day. i just got that vlog to go, I'll just make, I'll probably be an hour and then I can get on it and enjoy the last day but one of my summer holiday. I, I think, I think it's well overdue. And it is, I'm making the most of it. Um, so, until next time, au revoir.